All right, I did this video yesterday um, of all my games, but Facebook um, takes down the quality. So I thought I'd do one during the daytime and I'd upload it to um, YouTube. So last night it was about one in the morning. I was buzzing my tits off Red Bull. I tidied everything. All the family were in bed. And they were just like, oh, what do I do now? So I decided to do that. So as it stands today, everybody's out. All the windows are open. The Where are we? infuser is on giving lots of lovely aroma scents so I thought I'd have another crack at doing my shelf in this will probably be longer so don't watch it if you get bored quickly and you don't like to hear somebody rambling um, I got these the other day she's running adventure books so that is my shelf here this is my space um, just this part of the house and you know what I keep reducing where's my finger I keep reducing this this used to be a bit further back this shelving system but I actually bought it forward because I only need to move my chair out and I like it now I actually like it that it's all compact but this is my shelving area um, it's a Kallax 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 um, and it's got all my games on Seasons is my favourite I think it is. Yeah, seasons I really like at the moment. Dominions, Ticket to Rides, Hostage Negotiator I'm just getting used to. King is Dead is a beautiful game. I actually went to look at Odin's Raven um, at Osprey Games at the GameCon uh, Expo and saw that and, and liked that first. Not played. Not played. Not played. Um, all the expansions. Yes, so there's no real organisation except I try and put all my small ones here. So they're sort of midway. Getting a lot of fun from Octodice at the moment, that's worth doing. Now I'm just going to sit on my seat so I can put it down and put it under the table and I can get a bit more space. That's a good game, that's worth investing in. Sid Jackson, that's quite old that is. Well, that box is new. But the game's been out for a while. So yes. They're all my small games. Nothing really to say about that. I do like Tim Fowers. I do like his um, box design and things like that. I do think I'd buy his games now. Um, on the strength of his name. Before I tried the game. You'd have, you'd have to do a shit game to put me off. Um, from the works. Good game. From the works. Not played. Tony Bordell, next to his most favourite game in the world, Aquasphere. Wink Games, Nine Tiles. Don't ask me why, but two sets of Doom Time and the first two, two sets of two core sets and then two of all the expansions after. I don't fucking play it now. Sorry for the language. What a waste. Straight down to... Code names, Pagoda, Geared. One of the first ones I kickstarted, and it's the most simplest. Simplest. I mean, a majorly simple. Really simple. There's actually nothing to it. Game. But you know what? Kickstarter and all that sort of shit. You do it, don't you? Um, Osprey Games, Escape the Aliens, I really like. Lords of Waterdeep, I finally put two in one box, thanks to the group. Um... Yeah, all the same shape boxes there. It's all about tessel oops, where's my finger? It's all about tessellation into it rather than I haven't got enough space to organise it by size, weight, time, authors and all that sort of stuff. Tashkala in Istanbul, I really like. A few acres of snow I still need to get to. There you go. Formula D is beautiful. That's my big box game. Um I played Trikirion the other day. Um <coughs> This is five pounds in weight. The average. That's the gallerist. And I've come to the conclusion you only really need one massive box game. I played Trikirion and that was beautiful. But you don't need two, do you? 
especially if somebody else has got it. Um, Mancala, just because it had a wooden box. Risk, just because it were a tenor. Agricola, Discoveries. That's a really lovely one. Really, not a pretty game, but really, really nice to play. And then over here, it's just a big mass of games I need to get around to playing. Although I have played some of them, so it's all over the place. I have played SOS Titanic, I've played Innovation, I've played Saboteur, Guild of London, King of Tokyo, um, Colt Express, Imperial Settlers, Survive Space Attack, which I got for about nine, £10 off the internet. Um, obviously, I haven't played these two yet played that one. I've actually gave one go with that, but I'm not going to count it because I think I need to have a few goes with that. Um, yes. So that's post-expo. And then I've shown you this, didn't I? Which is just when I've put loads on the top. Because that's where all my junk goes. All my Lego. Um, all Lego, not my Lego. Yes. This is... Um, Yardmaster Express, amazingly simple. Probably as simple as um, the one down there that I looked at. Geared, yeah, probably as simple as geared. Um, that box is empty. That box is empty, I haven't found a use for them yet. Um, this one is one I got from Ikea a long time ago. Um, and this has my Harry Potter stuff in. I haven't played this for Three years, four years. But I don't want to chuck it away because it were a nice, it were a nice little game. Um, and then these, I saw somebody doing a gaming group. Now let me just pull this off. Um, it's one of those DIY boxes where you can take segments out for your nails and stuff. But he had all his Doomtown and Netrunner stuff and I like that. So this has got like province in. Doomtown tokens, chips, and a fooder. No idea what that is. I think some, some uh, we've got that free somewhere. Um, Uno, which I like, regardless. Netrunner tokens. Uh, no thanks. Cackalack and poking. And seven sevens, which is that game there. I think it was kickstarted, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, Cthulhu dice, one dice, lots of bits. Love letter, everyone has to have a love letter. Netrunner. Oh, 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 don't drop it. I don't know why I'm, uh, You don't need focus, do you? Doomtown, Star Realms, yes. Lock it, I couldn't lock it last time. There you go. So let me just stick this back. We are breaking anything. Yes, so that is my shelfie, and that's just my area. Elite that I used to play. And look, look, love. It's a board game collection. Um, yeah, so this is my area, and I actually quite like it now. It's very compact. I used to have a whole room. When I was back in Mansfield, whole attic room, and it was lovely. But you know what? With this view of a messy garden, my wife will kill me for that. A big mountain, big massive windows that open, and dying plants. We're shit gardeners, they are dying plants, all dying plants. We're actually getting somebody to do our garden because we're just, yeah, we're not gardeners. But yes, this is my collection um, and it's all compact and it's all sorted out and at the moment I am not getting rid of anything because my thoughts are the space there I can do stuff with the organization up there and over here I can do stuff with this area here um, this has got <laughs> Lots of sleeves, if I want to sleeve anything. Loom bands for, um, well, loom banding, but also 
be good for going around cards because they don't seem to be as tight. Nothing. Oh, those potato guns. Boxes. Lots of boxes for bits. Just in case you yeah, haven't got enough boxes for bits. Um, I'll buy those when I'm out. Um, and then they're essential oils from it, oil burners. But talking of boxes for bits, look at that Doomtown Doom Town boards from when I bought all my expansions and stuff. Look, boxes for bits, boxes, 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 boxes. Yes. So that is my board gaming area. Um, I might do one, another one with more detail, more for my friends. Yep, yeah, that is coming on to 11 minutes of your life. You're not going to get back. Hope you like it. Bye-bye.